Hey everybody, Renegade68 here with some more Let's Play Dragon Rope 2 Goodbye to Spare Blind. So, wow, that was a detour I did last time. But, uh, now Gito is now someone I can have free time with. So, yeah, it's nighttime already, huh? That felt fast. Well, uh, really? To me, it felt rather slow and painful. But let's get back to the plot. Ever since I arrived to this island, a day passes by abnormally fast. Oh, who's it? Who is it? Um, who would it be? Is it Akane because she's feeling weird? The doorbell? Does that mean someone's here? I cautiously walk toward the door and open it slowly, wary of what might be on the other side. Is it Nagito? Does he want to kill me? Nice to have met ya! Uh, no, it's Ibuki again. Okay. <laughs> it's the past tense of nice to meet you, you know, since we already exchanged nice to meet yous. Ibuki, you again. That's totally it! Allow me to apologize in you... Allow me to apologize for surprising you with my sudden visit. Again. At least you had rang the doorbell this time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's a lot better than the last time you broke into my room. <laughs> you must be the type who holds grudges. My ears and joints hurt. That means you have gout. You have gout. <laughs> what? Is that a disease or something? Because, I, I mean, I've heard the name, but I don't actually know what that is off the top of my head. What do you want? Ibuki doesn't get it either, but it looks like an invitation was sent to everyone. Oh? Are we just going straight into this? I would think we get at least one more free time before the killing. Invitation? Yes! This thing! What the? That's totally a girl's writing! Invitation ticket, 9pm at... At Titty Typhoon! Party for Fui Hiko Kuzuryu's recovery. Someone's definitely plotting out a murder already. I said someone was probably p planning it from, you know, the beginning of... Uh, this third section. What is this? Is this Monokuma's doing it again? Why you? How rude! Don't put that in the same category as Monokuma. Is this your doing? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about at all. Ibuki just brought the invitation. It's definitely her. Oh no! Please don't tell me you're plotting a murder. Please tell me this is gonna be a coincidence. <laughs> well then, Ibuki has some preparation, so I'll go ahead. I'll leave it to you. No, but she is the kind who, who likes to play in parties. She even planned one for um, the, the day when I had a free time. So, yeah, that's jumping again to say she's plotting a murder there. In fact, I still think it's going to take place in the hospital. The place is just so big. Although there's definitely a possibility it'll take place there instead if, if we're having some big event there. She even said preparations. She's completely behind this. TV Typhoon is that music venue on the third island, right? 9 p.m. That's in 30 minutes. Even though it's a party for free Hiko's recovery, is he even going to be able to come? He just slit his stomach this morning! But she took the trouble to do this out of goodwill. I guess I should head over to the music venue. Um, alright. Let's go then. Real quick, let's do a couple things. Let's check our pet for one. Um, lots of despair. And there's going to be more and more, hopefully. And check the map. Where is everybody? Anybody hanging around? No? No one? Nobody, seems like. Anyone? Anyone anywhere? Oh, we got some people hanging out over here. <laughs> Fuihika's still over there. We got um, Ibuki, uh, Nagito, and Gundam. And then there. Okay. So, yeah. I'm not going to warp, though. I want to get some steps. I need my steps. So let's head over there and have ourselves another party. Hopefully no one dies at this one. Pretty please? <laughs> Here we are at the Titty Typhoon. What's the happenings? Gundam and Nagito to greet us. This too must be the will of causality. Tonight's constellation heralds the banquet that celebrates Fuyuhiko's resurrection. <laughs> How idealistic! It's nearly showtime! Let us begin the ceremony of darkness! This guy, who cares anymore? What about him? Do you care about him at all? Nag Nagito, Abuki invited you too? Yep. Yeah, I'm honored. 
But since everyone else is also gonna be there celebrating for Eagle's recovery, someone like me. No matter what, I think it's too rude for someone like me to go inside before everyone else arrives. <laughs> uh, you don't have to worry about me. You can go inside first. Believe me, I'm not worried. Oh, I'd be very worried. Though the guy who openly says he's willing to help any killer do whatever and like, really? Alright. The fact that he's so honest is kind of scary. I mean, I, it, it feels kind of weird that, uh, like, thinking back to when they first got on the island, it's kind of out of character, almost, that he, like, didn't, you know, start, you know, his crazy hope spiel right away. Although, I guess part of it was he thought it was for the greater good of hope if he kept his uh, true intentions secret because he thought, if I expose myself, so many people are going to misunderstand me, probably. And that's probably what he was thinking. Uh, I guess that's the only way it makes sense that it wasn't out of character, but, yeah. Anyways. Fuihiko, why are you... Huh? What, is it bad I came? No, not that. Is it okay for you to move around? It's going to be fine. It's nothing. <laughs> There's no way you're okay. You're seriously injured. Even so. They took the time to throw a party for me. There's no way I wouldn't come. I understand how you feel, but you really shouldn't overwork yourself. So? I'm not overdoing it. You haven't said a swear word in a while. You, you, that's impressive. Jeez. Fine then, just let him do whatever he wants. But... Huh? It's fine, just let him be. Apparently you Zuka have pain tolerance down to an art. Apparently. I can't believe he's actually forcing himself to join this kind of event. The old Fuhiko probably wouldn't have come no matter how much we invited him. He's probably trying his very best to change. Hey. But it looks like Yoko definitely didn't come. <laughs> How pitiful. That seems to be the case. Maybe she's the next victim. Uh, that'd be... It's kind of morbid, but... Of the everyone, I'd like her to be the next victim. I mean, I... I mean, it used to be Fuyuhiko, but he's starting to change. He's starting to be a nicer guy, so... So, uh, Hyoko kind of beats, beats him out now as my least favorite. Huh? Akane's not here either. Oh, but that's strange. Please don't let her be the victim. I mean, she's not one of my favorites, but um, I definitely like her over uh, Hyoko. Hmm. What's with that wild? What is that wild woman off doing? Hope she's not planning to do something strange. As if on cue, right when Yakumar expressed his unease, that's when it happened. My. Oh my! Oh, this is a book he's doing, right? <laughs> Set up really fancy things. Suddenly the stage lit up very brightly, and the person who appeared was... Hey, y'all! It's Ibuki Miyota! Thanks for coming out today! My specialty is making beef stew! That's weird. Okay. <laughs> I may not look like it, but people tell me that I'm a nurturing type. Okay. So I'm gonna do my very best performance so I can make everyone feel better! I hope you're all pumped up! I'm excited. Just as I thought, that's what she was going for. Well, she's the ultimate musician after all. I can't imagine what else she'd do at a music venue. Alright! I'll start singing this first song with full-on energy! So, put your hands together for... From me to you too! Okay! Since she was originally a member of a high school girls band that dominated the music charts... I can probably look forward to her music stylings! Wow, you're being optimistic, that's rare. I know I'm not saying anything, it just feels weird. Is that a Japanese voice actor? How long does this last? If that's a Japanese voice actor, that's kind of weird.
I like the guitar stuff. It's just the the singing question mark is weird. going for. Part of me wants to skip it, but part of me wants to know how long this actually stays for. Okay, there, it's done. What is with that face? What the fuck? Gonna get cursed? Um, was that some kind of curse in Japanese? What? Such an overwhelming, baleful resonance. Even my four Dark Davis destruction look less lively than usual. What? I too am starting to feel chills. Uh, I'm a little confused, but okay. With a title like From Me to, to You, I thought it was going to be a sweet love song. I don't know what kind of song it was, because it was in Japanese and there was no English version. If I recall, the reason why Buki left the high school girls band was... Um. Creative differences. That must be why. It's awesome! That's the first time I've heard such a famous song! <laughs> of all the people to like it. Also, since when did you get here? Yoko? I'm glad. You came? <laughs> so what if I did? I was invited too, you know. But... If you're attending Fuhiko's recovery party, that means... You've already... That's not it! Are you stupid? Don't misunderstand. There's no way I'd forgive him that easily. Because he's a Yakuza, you know. He's the type of person who preys on people by tricking them. Even now, he's probably just pretending to be sorry. So he can try to trick us. Please wait. There is no way that is possible. No, that's fully possible. I know. I know I get what you think that of me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's why we're never going to believe in you. I get it. This doesn't mean we made up or anything. I'm only cooperating with you until we get off this island. Huh? What? This is just... Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one who's gonna get cut off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Although it seems like she is getting a bit more warmer to him. I'm glad, I'm really glad. You nasty pig bar! Don't cry! Pigs have no right to cry! You're grossing me out! Fuyuhiko's not the only one who's trying to change. She's also trying, huh? The old Hyoko. There's no way she would have ever forgiven Fuyuhiko like this. Gross. What are you looking at? It was probably what you said about what Mahiro would think. Somehow, even though it's little by little, I feel like things are starting to turn around. You know, until someone else dies. I hate all this hope you're getting. It's just gonna get crashed. That's all the more reason to worry about him. Nagito? Oh, Monokuma. I mean, both, I would think. There's no way he's gonna do anything while he's watching us like this, right? Wait, there's no way he's not gonna do anything while he's watching us like this. <laughs> Boring! How much longer are you guys gonna be bummed out? I came all the way here because you said it was a party! Yay! Come on, Ibuki, hurry up and start the next song! <laughs> oh, wow. Roger! Thanks for writing! Let's go right ahead to the next song! Uh, there's still more. <laughs> oh, of all the people to complain. Now that this recovery party is in full swing, I've got a ballad prepared that totally fits the mood. Grab a partner and slow dance too. I squeezed out the baby, but I have no idea who the father is. Stop it! <laughs> that face again, but also that title. I have squeezed out a baby, but I have no idea who the father is. Perfect. Hey, well, what's everyone doing here? Oh, where'd you come from? I thought we were actually gonna get another song. Uh, part of me was scared, but part of me was excited. It's a weird feeling. Monomi? Jeez, 
Don't interfere, and I was enjoying such a fun party, too. <laughs> now it's fun? What? I wasn't invited to the party. That's because no one likes you, and you're like, you're probably working with Monokuma anyway, for all we know. <laughs> Obviously not. You'd ruin the party if you were here. What? Double gas! <laughs> what? Now's not the time! Now's not the time to enjoy a fun party! Motive? <laughs> Akane is... dead? Emergency! Oh, dueling Monokuma? Oh, okay, so similar to what Sakura did? Except... Uh, Sakura is like super, super human. I don't think Akane is quite at that level. What? What? <laughs> at this point, Akane is going to be in danger. Please do something to save her. Baby? Looks like my bad feeling was correct. Fool. Stupid fool! Mm. No, I'm the one who was the fool. It was my mistake to not keep my eyes on her. <laughs> As a team manager, I should have had a proper grasp on my athlete's private life. Damn it, this failure will haunt me for the rest of my life, or my name isn't Nekomaru Nidai! Um. Now is not the time for regret. Let us make haste. <laughs> of course! Fuyiko finally returned to us. I thought of anyone else in our group getting taken. <laughs> Never allow it! Hey, Monami, where's Akane and Mon Mon Monokuma? Um... They're at the beach where we first arrived at this island. <laughs> Please, sir, if you don't, Akane's gonna get killed! By Monokuma? I doubt it. <laughs> I'm going full speed ahead! See? We should hurry, too. Nakamura bolted from the music venue as fast as his legs could take him, and we followed him soon after. I should hurry too. Ibuki? Hey everyone! Sorry, Ibuki, but, uh. Eh, your party, Akane possibly dying, we kinda have to weigh the options. Oh, what? Thanks, everyone. <laughs> No, that's not it. I know Akane's in deep trouble, but you guys suck! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Ibuki. I'd stay. I mean, everyone else is going. I'll stay. If you want me to stay, I don't mind. I mean, I'm the main character, so I kind of have to go to move the plot along. But if that wasn't the case, I'd totally stay. If everyone else is going, it should be fine. Screw the half-baked comfort. If this were a song title, it would be salt seeping into my broken heart. I don't really get it, but you look pretty bummed out. You shouldn't make a fuss here. Let's hurry over to the beach already. She should I sure hate too. Sorry, Buki. Not everyone had to go. No, okay, fine. Let's go. Whoa! What what did you say? I I was gonna go to a place. What just happened? Um it's just as Nekomaru said. I can't stand any longer. Situations where someone's taken any longer. There's no time to spare. I need to hurry over to the beach of the first island. Yeah, okay. Alright, cool. Well, I keep I keep accidentally doing that. I don't want to do it. Don't make me, mommy. What's up with you, Chiaki? Hey, Chiaki. What are you doing? We gotta get to the beach. Hold it. Calm down. What? Huh? Well... It's true we need to hurry. There's no way you can make good decisions if you're so worked up. That's true. If we don't hurry, Akane is... Hey. It's for the sake of saving Akane too. We don't know what's beyond this point. That's why we need to stay calm, I think. Yeah, got it. I'm okay now. Yep. Then let's go. Man, I love Chiaki. She's definitely my, uh, my favorite. Um, versus Nagito, it's kind of hard to say. I mean... You know, villains, I just, I like villains more. But sometimes, heroes outshine villains. Rarely. To me, to me, it usually is rare. Um, we'll see. I'll have to spend more time with, uh, uh, with Chiaki and Nagito as well. See if, uh, she ends up outweighing him or not. After running there at full sprint, by the time I got to the beach and struggled to regain my breath, I saw a shocking scene unfold before me. Akane! What's going on? Looks like you're just barely avoiding any fatal injuries. Yep, at least your agility is worthy of praise. 
But did you only challenge me just so you could show me your sweet dance moves? You call her a dancer? Oh, she's gonna be pissed now. Actually, gymnast. So, in, in some respect, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, uh, whatever. <laughs> damn it! Why can't I even graze you with my attacks? It's a plushed animal robot thing. <laughs> well, you know, we're on completely different levels. That means we view the world differently. It's like a character from a punk manga challenging an enemy from a super-powered battle manga. <laughs> I completely get the reference. Yeah, that is kind of what it would be like. Monokuma is definitely a villain from a super-powered battle manga. <laughs> it's obvious you can't win. Hey, hey. Is she really serious about not even grazing it? Akane is just fighting a stuffed animal. Monokuma's an advanced machine. If it's designed for combat, it's probably capable of ex exerting such power. However, as far as speed is concerned, Akane is far faster than any athlete I've ever faced. And she and she says she can't even graze him with her attacks? Is that even possible? <laughs> However, because it's possible, that's why she's in this situation, right? How unfortunate. As long as she's ended up like that, there's not much we can really do about it. At the very least, we should... Overcome the despair of Akane's death and use it as fuel to bolster her hope. Oh, shut up. She's not dead yet. Right? Like Fuhiko did, you see? Oh, shut up. Uh, it's not quite the same. Don't fuck with me! Oh, hey, he swore again! Though it kind of makes sense, because, you know, uh, Nagito's, you know, crazy. Damn it! I never want to feel that feeling ever again. If I have to feel that way again, I'll make sure I stop it, even if it costs me my life. You can't. You'll really die if you keep overexerting yourself. Yeah. It's just a little life Peko gave me. It's not precious anyway. See? You stupid idiot. That's all the only reason you need to take care of it. Peko is putting... By Peko dying and saving you, it's like she's giving her whole life to you as well. So it's not just your dumb life. You have to carry on her life as well. In fact, you have to carry on the heroes because you were partially responsible for her death. Huh? Yeah, you gotta think about it like... Anytime you kill someone, you are now responsible for, for, for the rest of their, their life. Whether you kill someone, or their death is your fault, or whatever, you are now responsible for the, their, their life, as it were. Their, their life is now part of yours, you could think of it. Don't stop me! Go stay back. We'll take it from here. Oh. This is Nekomaru Nidai's final firework. Make sure you sear it into your eyes. What? Is that an attacking move? Well then, it looks like everyone's here, so I might as well finish this! But you're not supposed to kill the students, what's going on? Didn't I say I won't allow any rule violations against me? This is what happens when you break the rules! What rule did she break? Just fight you, or is there something else? Disappear! There's no way Nekomaru's dead. They're not going to kill him off like that. There's no way. They would not. They are not going to do that. They better not. The world shook and turned stark white. As if the surrounding scenery and every sound was blown away by the impact. It was all completely white. Within that white, I heard a voice. <gasps> and Nekomaru, you say something too. Ne Nekomaru! You better not be dead. Ne Nekomaru... Why did you save? You are not killing off a character this way. That would be incredibly stupid. Like, you kill them in the class trials. You're really not going to kill off Nekomaru this way, are you? This would be incredibly stupid. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? He's still alive. You can get him medical attention. Supporting their athletes is a manager's duty. However,. What a shame for someone like Nekomaru Nidai to... You are not dying this way. It was just a little shot from a bazooka. I really am the worst. <laughs> if they kill him off this way, this game goes down so many notches in my book. G get a hold of yourself, Nekomaru! Akane... The time I've spent with you, it, it wasn't so bad. 
There's no way. You're not actually doing this, are you, game? This is stupid. Don't die, Akane. You don't die either, Nekomaru. Just get him to the hospital and, and cure him up and he'll be fine, right? Right? No. They didn't just do that. My thoughts exactly. You really just killed a character off that way? Why? No. Is that a joke? Are you... What what Hajime just said? Are you kidding? No. This game is gonna go down so many pegs in my book if they just did that. Not just because Nekomaru was one of my favorite ones, but also because like any character killing off them off that way randomly in the middle of this, they're supposed to be either be killed by someone of the other students or executed at the class trial. Just don't you can't kill them off that way. <laughs> Holy crap indeed, Monokuma! Instead of the rule violator Akane! What the hell? What a major failure! I ended up killing Nekomaru who had nothing to do with this! Hey! Hold on! It's faint, but his heart is still beating! Yes, please! Let him live! He's not dead yet! <laughs> He's not a rule violator, Monokuma! You better fucking save him! Ooh. You gotta hurry and treat him! You... You can do something about this, right? Save Nakamura's like you saved mine! Hey, hey! That's right! If you kill someone who didn't violate the rules, that makes you the one who violated the rules. Well? Let's just say we're even! What? <laughs> In exchange for forgiving Akane for breaking the rules, let's just say Nakamura was the sacrifice. No, screw that bullshit. What did she even do? Yeah no! You're not gonna save him? Unbelievable. Guess I have no choice. It's annoying, but it'd be boring if he died a meaningless death. Yes, you're right, it would be boring if he died a meaningless death. Oh my god, so you're gonna save him, right? So Activate my special trump card? Man, this is so weird. First with Fuyuhiko and now again with Nekomaru. So, so, okay, he's gonna live, right? He's not dead? He's not dying a meaningless death. It's just so weird to see people, you know, like this constantly happening. Ah, okay, thank God, Nekomaru's not dying a meaningless death. Just like Monokuma said, it would've been completely meaningless. Why would you even trick me like that, game? Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood. Even recycle the same line again. We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24 hour observation stat! Alright. But does this mean like no more free times with him though? Because I know I know with um what's his face? Uh Fuyahiko, he's um you couldn't have free times with him while he was in the hospital, even though now I think you can maybe as soon as he gets out. If he ever gets out. He might just die as the next victim or killer. Probably not killer. I could see him being a victim though. So, I'll see you later. Although it's possible actually considering this, I hope not. I could see Nekomar being the next victim. Um, I could see him getting killed while he's in the hospital. It's possible someone's had a grudge against Nekomaru for a long time, and now that he's actually in a weakened state, they're going to try and take their chance to kill him. I hope that's not true, but it's a theory, and it would make what happened here make sense. Well, plus, we kind of got to find out what her rule breaking is. After he said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Nekomaru vanished from our sight. What the hell? Why did this happen? What's going on? He's going to be all right, right? Nekomaru's going to be saved, right? Of course, he's obviously going to be saved. Fihiko finally returned to us. I cannot believe Nekomaru's gone now. No! I can't stand this anymore. Hey! You stop yelling, screaming would help you now. Cuz, cuz... You, Ago! This isn't cuz. This is what happens when we let our guard down. All this talk about everyone getting along, we're just fooling ourselves. 
Just pretending we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, cooperation, nothing matters. The stupid ones will just get... The stupid ones will just get killed one after another. It won't be a mystery when you're eventually portrayed. That's why I'm never going to rely on anyone. That's the reality here. Uh, Are you saying it's meaningless for us to even work together? Shut up! If it really did have meaning, Nekamara wouldn't have ended up like that. Um, first we should probably find out why Akane broke the rules and what rules she broke. That's a little more important in my opinion. Uh, you know, like that because of his weird feeling of friendship. It's kind of your fault, Akane. What's the deal? You. You understand too, right? When the stupid ones try to act on their own, it makes trouble for everyone else. Hey! So can you please not involve me? I don't want to die a meaningless death. That is... Yoko, blaming Akane will not help solve anything. It might? What the hell did she do? Huh. We don't have to worry about Coach Nakamaru. Huh? Huh? <laughs> That's disappointing. It's all your fault and you're not even worried about him. Aww. You're not worried about Nakamaru? D damn it! No need to worry about worrying! I know Ketcher Nakamaru is a monstrous guy. No way he's gonna die for something like this. No doubt, Nakamaru is definitely gonna come back. Damn it. So when that happens, I'll make sure I apologize to him. How about you tell us first? What the hell rule did you break? It was too weak and I caused him trouble. What rule did you break? Was it something stupid like trying to fight Monokuma? Because that would be stupid. When he comes back, I'll make sure I'll say I'm sorry. Kane. What rule did you break? What rule did she break? Was it just trying to attack Monokuma? That would be stupid. Is that what it was? Ugh. Kane, you're stupid. As far as I'm concerned, right now, until we learn if there was another reason for your rule-breaking, whatever the rule was, if it wasn't something stupid, you're stupid. Even if we opened our mouths, only words of worry would come out. We all knew that. Let me double-check what the thing just said. Um... I'll return to our cottages. We were silent. Even if we opened our mouths, only words of worry came out. We all knew that. Okay. When we saw Nakamura's tragedy happen right in front of us, once again, we were all taught. If you think you won't die, well, that's just wishful thinking. It's not without any warning. People die. But he's not dead! Okay, that's the nightmare we're trapped in. When you think you finally woken up from the nightmare, you realize you're still inside it. And that's the nightmare continues. Monokuma Super Fable, Story 58, a Tengu came down from the mountains. A long time ago, there was a village that was afraid of Tengu showing up. The Tengus apparently did as they pleased, such as stealing food and kidnapping women. Was it really the Tengu's fault? Isn't it actually a human's fault for ruining nature by destroying the mountains where the Tengus lived? You think monsters are scary? It's humans that are the scary ones. <laughs> Everyone, now is the time to rise up against the humans. Must protect nature from the humans and return the world to a peaceful place where monsters roam free. Bring it on! Super Fable's the end. Okay. More free time or what? Still haven't really seen a motive. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! As usual, well, you would never say that. It doesn't matter anymore. But I greeted the morning without having sleep at all. I really wanted to see somebody, anybody, as fast as I could. I felt like I had to share this anxious feeling with someone. I just couldn't deal with it alone. Just go to the restaurant for now. Alright. Fine. Restaurant it is. So where is everybody? Oh, Fihigo's running about now? Okay. Chiaki. Um, anyone else? I'm assuming Nekomaru is at the hospital. Um, no. We don't even see him in the hospital? That's weird. Okay. Fine. Well, then let's go see what the happenings are. Fuihiko, where are you? You and your eye patch. 
Yo. It's you, Hajime. Huh. Huh. Even in such an abnormal situation, people still get hungry. Damn it. Now, come on, with that bastard by his final firework, Lion's more suited to a Yakuza anyway. Nekamara must have wanted to protect the Kani at all costs, just like Alpeka wanted to protect you. Why, you... Shut up! Don't say another word! Sorry. Just go on ahead to the restaurant. I'll come later. Fuyuhiko. I feel a bit sad for him. Um... How's my pet doing, by the way? Ooh, more despair. Good. I want to give him full despair this time. And Chalky's here again. What are your thoughts, Chalky? Hey. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, morning. See? Being depressed won't help. Let's believe in Nekomaru. Come on, feel better. I agree with you, but Hajime probably doesn't. Um, I will see what is up those stairs next time in Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Goodbye to Spare. Um, maybe we have more free time? Maybe not. I think we have gonna have at least a little bit more, but uh, I'll see you then. Uh, don't know, Joe Bye.